What's my take on the fourth dimension being time versus it being another axis? So here's the thing. Um, we can call the fourth dimension whatever the heck we want it to be. Like, there's no actual order to these dimensions. Dimensionality is just a mathematical concept. If you take one dimension and you extend it out into a new dimension, then you get a new dimension. So if you take a point, basically a zero-dimensional object, and you extend it out in a direction, you get a line, a one-dimensional object. You take a line, you extend it in a new dimension, you get a square. That's a two-dimensional object. You take a square, you extend it in a new direction, you get a cube. Now, if you take all of three-dimensional space and you extend it in a direction, uh, we could call that direction time. So that fits as the fourth dimension, but that's not because it is the fourth dimension. That's because it's useful to model it like a fourth dimension. We get to call whatever we want the fourth dimension. You could also treat the fourth dimension as a dimension of space, which we do in mathematics all the time. In fact, we get higher and higher dimensions in mathematics. Does that mean they exist? No, but we could model them. So yeah, the fourth dimension is just whatever we want it to be. And time sure does behave like a dimension, so we call it the fourth dimension. But honestly, the number is arbitrary. Certain forms of string theory have our universe having up to 26 dimensions. You could call it the 26th dimension. It operates the same.